Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm just going to cover getting basic actor set up uh, with kind of overlap, overlap and hit events. Um, that's something that's kind of really easy in Blueprint and the first time you're doing C++ it's a bit of a pain. So basically it's equivalent of, I mean, if we make a new actor here that's just, you know, an actor or whatever, um, you would generally just you know, add a component, so let's say a sphere collision, and then right click add event on component an overlap or on component hit and those are kind of standard um, ways to go about detecting things. Um, so I'm just going to show the setup of how to get those in a C++ base class. So I've actually already gone ahead and created the C++ class. I've just called it delete example. Um, and it's just this here. So this is just a basic um, empty act class. So first of all, what we're going to do is set up the actual collision. So we're going to use a variable stored in. So that's a new sphere component. Let's name it. Um, as well. And then the other thing that we're going to need to do is in the constructor, um, if you're going to be creating sub objects, you need to add const f object, let's make sure I still try that, object, initializer, reference, object initializer. Um, so I'll copy that across, make sure that that matches here, and then you always just want to go super object initializer, so that it calls the same one on the parent or actor. And we'll grab this. And we just want to, so the function is create default sub object. And then within the um, template um, brackets, we want to put the class, so the sphere component. And then in here, you can just go away with basically typing what the name will be in editor. So I'm just going to call this um, collision or something. And that's it. This will return a. Um, Sphere component which we can store in collision. Um, and that should be happy. So then we essentially just want to set collision up. Um, so we want uh, collision to set the radius to whatever. Because um, I don't want to bother adding visuals, I'm just going to set, um, set hidden game to false so we can actually see the outline. Um, and then coming down the bottom, I'll just go component equals collision, just so that otherwise it kind of picks one random, and it's just a little cleanup to manually control what you're setting as the root component of the actor. Um, so that should set up our radius of this object. Um, so what we are going to do is just close that and build this. the editor, and that at least we should be able to see in the game, uh, we'll get a sphere there, and that's kind of part of our job done, so I'll just um, right click this and say kind of create a blueprint based on, um, let's show us the delete example BP. And so yep, we've got this root component inherited, which is a sphere, just like what we can kind of do using the blueprint. Um, and so and if we drag one of these into the world, we've got that. So that's the start of it. Now, we're going to set up the events in C++, um, just because that's the main thing I'm trying to show here. So this kind of pulls into, I'm going to cover delegates next, um, but basically we need to bind to the on overlap and on hit delegates. And those are declared in the parent of, um, so for example, a sphere, component, new sphere component, um, new capture component, new box component are all primitives. Um, so primitive component, uh, which I've opened up here, all I did to that is just in a solution explorer to search for primitive component. Um, so just kind of looking up for what, we'll, what we need is the signature. So up here we've got all these declared um, event dispatches, uh, which is what the overlap and hit events are. 
And again, I'm going to cover these a bit later. So for now, we just look for the one we want, which is F component begin overlap. Um, and we're just going to copy these because this is the signature that we need to make a um, make a function with. So I'm going to make a new function called just um, on delegate example overlap. Uh, so it doesn't matter what that name is. Uh, it does matter what this is. And now with the delegate um, things, you have to. We don't do the class here, we don't need to um, Now it puts a comma between every, uh, between the type and the name, and we just want to go through and remove those. So you know, you 32, other one index, bool, maybe from sweep, come on, stuff hit resolve, reference, sort of resolve. So that's just kind of the way that, because you know what, just look it up, copy paste. Um, but just to kind of show where that actually comes from, it's an event dispatcher declared in primitive component. So now that we have a function with the correct signature, it'll be happy for us to bind to the event dispatcher basically. So I'm just going to copy this, give it a definition obviously. So what we can do now, since collision is a primitive component, and primitive component has that event dispatcher declared on it. What we want to do is collision on the component overlap, which is the name of the um, event that we're trying to bind to, dot add dynamic. And then we want to put in this first, and then a reference to this class. So in this case, it's going to be Delegate example. Delegate example overlap. And that gives it the function pointer. So it's a little ugly. Um, it's definitely neater to just in editor kind of go, you know, right click add event. Uh, but that is what we're actually doing in C. We're binding to the um, delegate declared, so the on component begin overlap declared in primitive component. And if you have to search for that in here, we'll be um, just down a bit further. So this here, f component begin overlap signature and runs uh, its, its thing, its tag is on component begin overlap, uh, which is why we're using that. And then add dynamic is how we use the um, dynamic delegates, which if you've used delegates in blueprint, those are the ones that we're used to using. And that should give us this. So all I'm going to do here for now is just debug message, just so that we can see that popping up. Um, something overlap to me. Now it is really important that the signature is right. If the signature is off, um, it, won't, it won't let you um, do it. But hopefully I've got that right. So we'll give this a run. So how it's feeling about this should just be able to hard compile that. Whoa! Whoops. Ah. Okay. So that was a mistake. Although a good message by them. I forgot to tag this as a function, which it needs to be. So we don't necessarily need any parameters in there, but just the way it works, it wants any function that you're going to use to bind to an event. A dispatcher as a U function, just something about the way that it picks those up. So that should be happy now. Just let that build. something overlapped me, um, which is kind of a standard overlap event triggering and you've got all the usual uh, variables there to work with. Obviously you've got um, you know, other actor, other component, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, so obviously it's the exact same for um, on event hit. Um, and yeah, that's how to get a basic overlap event set up for actors. Next I'm going to cover uh, making a custom event dispatcher, because those again are a little uh, messier in C++ than they are in Blueprint. So let's cover the syntax for that. And yeah, that's it.